Hi, I'm Coach Dan Clemens, and welcome to another edition of Tips for a Perfect Season. In our last episode, we talked about the difference between responding and reacting, and how that distinction has a profound impact on the outcomes you're able to achieve. In this episode, let's talk about a response, responding more wisely. How do I make a habit out of being a responder? Well, there are four behaviors. The first is a creator. What kind of world do I want? As a coach, you're the leader of your team. You have the opportunity to create an experience for your kid and for the other 10 or 11 or 12 kids that are on your team and their families. What do you want to accomplish? What are you trying to achieve? It's really important that you are very clear on that, not only at the beginning of the season, but it's something that's top of mind in every situation that you encounter, whether that's dealing with a, with a kid at practice, interacting with a, a, a parent uh, before or after a game, discussing an issue with an umpire. What kind of world do you want? What kind of experience, what kind of role model do you want to be? So first off is being a, a creator. Second is a seeker. What do I need to know? That's the central question. What do I need to know? What do I need to know about this situation? There are so many things about a, about a team, about a baseball uh, experience that we can't know. We can't see it all as coaches. We can see a lot, but we can't see it all. So somebody who responds wisely is open to new ideas. They're open to questions. They're open to suggestions, realizing that they may not, they may not know it all. So when they get into a situation, they may have an idea of, well, this is what I saw, but what else do I need to know? Maybe I need to ask somebody else. Maybe I need to get their perspective on what's really going on in this situation. Am I missing something? Third behavior is sender. And this is thinking about the consequences, asking this central question of what will happen? If I do X, what will happen? If I do Y, what will happen? Somebody who responds wisely to situations has thought through the consequences of their action. If I yell at this kid, what will happen? If I throw my scorebook down uh, and start yelling at the umpire, what will happen? What will happen to the umpire? What will happen to me getting booted out of the game? What will happen to the kids? What will happen to the parents? What will they think? What are the larger consequences of, of my potential actions? Finally is a finisher. What am I prepared to do? If I can see that road ahead, and I know that there are some difficult challenges, but I'm not prepared to do them. Maybe it's having a, a, a real difficult conversation with a parent. If I'm not prepared to do that, I need to change what I'm trying to accomplish. Somebody who responds wisely has thought through those things, and if there is a challenge that they can't overcome, they will adjust their, their outcomes, or they will find another way around it. But they're very clear on what are they prepared to do, and then they do it. They finish, they follow through, they persevere, they're tough. They, they, they get the job done. Whatever it takes, they will do it. And if it's more than they're prepared to do, then it falls outside their, their realm of what they're trying to accomplish. So as a leader of your team, as a coach, that you're trying to create a great experience for kids and their families, think about those four behaviors and, and responding more wisely. Be a creator, be a seeker, be a sender, and be a finisher. And I think you'll have a lot more success. I detail these, these four behaviors a little bit more in my book, uh, A Perfect Season, A Coach's Journey to Learning, Competing, and Having Fun in Youth Baseball. It's something that I think will help you be a more effective coach, uh, but it'll also help you be a more effective parent, spouse, and probably worker. So make sure that you understand this difference between responding and reacting, and make response a habit for you. Thanks for tuning in. And here's to your own perfect season.